everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <coughs> Welcome back to the second video in our wedding dress try-on series. Today's video is an AliExpress wedding dress haul. This was crazy. I got an email popped up in my inbox from an AliExpress seller and they said to me, would you like to make a video about our wedding dresses? We can send you some. And I said, I would like to, but is it possible for you to send me eight? And they were like, mm, that's a fair few. Why do you want that many? And I said, well, I'd like to review all the different styles, all the different cuts. Because in my last video, which was a yes style wedding dress video, I only showed styles that I like, but I'm sure people want to see different types of styles because everyone has a different opinion of what they like. So I said to them, can you send me one of each sort of style? And they said yes. So here we have eight wedding dresses in different cuts, different styles. We even have a different color over here. And I don't remember ordering it in pink, but it has come in pink. So anyway, we've got long sleeves. We've got no sleeves. We've got short sleeves. We've got off the shoulder sleeves. There's a bunch of different things going on here. Like I did last time, I'm gonna run through them all and give you my first impressions. I'm gonna have a little guess at how much they're worth because seeing as I got these for free, I didn't pay for them and I have no recollection of how much each thing was. My friend Tiasha has just unboxed all of these for me and she's put them on the hangers. I don't know how much they are, so I'm just gonna go around and have a look at them all and I'm gonna give my guesses and uh, then Tiasha will tell me what it's actually worth. And once we've had a look at the price and everything and I've given you my first thoughts, then we're gonna try them on. So, are you ready, Archie? Dress number one, I'll start up here. Oh, oh, this is, oh, that's heavy. Okay, my first thoughts are that when I was trying on my own wedding dress, and if you wanna hear the story about me picking my own wedding dress, you can uh, go to my Yes Style video because I tell the whole story there. But when I was trying on wedding dresses, I remember seeing a dress very, very similar to this. If I didn't know this was from AliExpress, I would think that this was like a legitimate, I mean, yeah. not, not that AliExpress dresses aren't legitimate, but I would think that this is a, a big name brand because this feels really nice. This tulle is very, very soft. And the way that this sort of, I guess you'd call it pleating up here, the, or is it pleating or ruching? The way that's done is lovely. And the embroidery is actually really nice too. It doesn't look cheap. Nothing looks like it's glued on. It all looks like it's embroidered. I'm not seeing any loose stitches or threads. This is a very heavy dress too. I know in a wedding dress store, I think a dress like this would probably cost about a thousand Australian dollars, I would say. But I know that none of these dresses are that expensive. I'm pretty sure from memory they were all maybe under 500, I don't really remember. But looking at this one, right off the bat, I would say this is a $400 dress. What's this one worth? 150 US dollars or 219 Australian dollars. Okay, all right AliExpress. Okay, guys, by the way, this video isn't sponsored. They're not paying me to make this video. They gave me the dresses for free, but that never influences the way that I tell you about the dresses. I'll absolutely tell you the truth. I'm impressed. And if you don't believe me, let's ask Tiasha. What do you think? Because you unboxed this. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with you. you I was like super surprised when I found out the This price. is so nice. Yeah, it's super pretty. I'm really surprised. Okay, I have high hopes. Ooh. This is uh, strapless, but I think on... This is gonna look really pretty. This isn't the sort of style that I would have worn to my own wedding, but one of my best friends, Tash, she wore basically like an identical wedding dress. Hers probably would have been a lot nicer, but I actually didn't get up close to her on the day. I looked at her from a distance and it was a very similar style. So that's the thing. If you can't afford a very expensive wedding dress, never feel ashamed to get a cheap one. It's the same with engagement rings. If someone shames you for having a cheap engagement ring, like if, if your partner gets you an engagement ring and it costs them a couple of hundred dollars or it costs them $20, it could be like, a candy ring or something. It's the thought that counts and it's how you feel on the day. Never let anyone shame you into feeling like you're not good enough because you didn't spend thousands of dollars on your dress. So I reckon if you got this for 200 and something Australian dollars, you would be over the moon. And I'm not just saying that, I'm really excited to try this one on. Okay, I think we're off to a very good start. And please don't destroy this because someone is going to wear this to their wedding one day. Because <laughs> I'm going to donate all of these dresses or I'm going to sell them for charity or something. So someone's going to wear this. So no birdies are allowed to destroy. Let's have a look at this one here because this caught my eye. Looks really nice. It's an off-white colour though, which I like my wedding dresses to be not, not stark white for my skin tone. But I almost feel like it just looks a little bit dirty. If that makes any sense, like looking looking at it from a distance, I'm not noticing it, but looking at it down the length of the dress, I would almost think, oh yeah, it looks like it's been worn and it's aged and it's a little bit dirty. But uh, anyway, this one is 
quite heavy. I'm noticing that the lace detail, it's got lace around the front and the back and it is not finished nicely at all. It's cut really, really, really badly. It's all crooked. It's like someone's just cut it with scissors. Can you see that along there? And all the way along here. It's really rough. I think if you ended up with a dress like this, you'd have to take it to a seamstress and they'd have to trim that evenly for you because that doesn't look good at all okay so straight away because it's like that i'm thinking this is probably going to be a cheaper one i don't think that this is going to be worth anywhere near as much as that first one because that one is finished so nicely ah. to be fair though there's no lace panels on that one this one there's lace all over it so uh, not off to a good start with this one there's some loose threads here uh, where they've attached the beading doesn't look so great lengthwise there's a lot of volume and it's not too heavy, which is nice. I don't like super heavy dresses. Well, it's got built-in cups, which look nice. I think that this lace detail coming down here is really pretty too. Kind of reminds me of my own wedding dress in that regard. I just can't get over how poorly it's finished. I, I'm seeing loose threads absolutely everywhere. So this one, oh, I would say it's only worth like $200, but because it's so much bigger, I feel like it's they probably charge like 300 for this one? Yeah, so it's 203 US dollars. Okay. And it's 296 Australian dollars. Wow, nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I don't remember any of the prices, guys. That was just a really good guess. So I think you're you're getting what you pay for with this one. Like with that one, if I picked that up in a shop, I'd think it was like a thousand dollars. This one, I would pick this up and be like, yeah, no, that's that's a that's a cheap dress. So that one, yep. Yeah, not not that impressed. Hi. Okay, I'm really interested in this pink one. I would never wear a dress like this for my own wedding because I don't like the shape on my figure. I don't like how it hugs at the hips and I think it's a mermaid cut. I'm pretty sure it hugs all the way down and then it flares out at the bottom. I didn't ask for this in pink, so I don't know if... Because there's three colour options on AliExpress. There's white, pink and gold. So I don't know if they've sent me the pink one or if this is considered to be the white one and maybe the pink one has pink lace instead of white lace. I'm, I'm not sure. I think of this as more of like a, a ball gown prom dress than a wedding dress just because of the colour. Normally when I think of like a classic wedding dress, I think of white. But obviously not everyone wears a white wedding dress. I mean, people wear black wedding dresses. They wear all sorts of colours. But to me, just the cut of this... I know I've seen some prom dresses kind of similar to this and it feels like, hey, no, no, no. It kind of feels like something that you'd buy from a prom dress store as well. We have a store in Australia that's called Smick and when I was in school, all the girls at my school would go to Smick for their prom dresses. This kind of feels like something you'd get from there for maybe $200, I would say. I've definitely seen dresses like this for 200 Australian dollars. What's it worth? Before I tell you the price, take a look at how the sleeves have been done. I didn't notice that. Oh no! <laughs> They're twisted! They've put them on backwards! This lace panel, it starts front ways, it comes around here, and then it twists, it's backwards. This this was supposed to have been sewn on like that. But they've done it for both of them. Yeah, that's what's that, crazy. What, what? I, surely that's an accident, right? That can't be deliberate. Sh yeah, right? That can't be deliberate. Ah! Totally. Well, that's a huge disappointment. Gee, I would be so annoyed if I bought this online and that turned up like that. That's the worst. Okay, automatically the value goes down. If that's the craftsmanship, I would say 100 bucks. That one is 161 US dollars and 235 Australian dollars. <sighs> if the sleeves weren't sewn on backwards or twisted, I would say, yeah, $200 is worth it, but because that's happened, value goes way down for me. I mean, I'm not noticing that many loose threads or anything, but just overall, just feeling it. Oh no, oh no, there's some loose threads. I, say, I don't think it's as bad as that, but the bottom of that is nice. Yeah, no, this is this is my least favorite so far. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is the heaviest so far. Wow. Oh, more fake buttons. It's the fake button situation that happened with the Yes style dress. They don't actually zip into anything. So with this dress, it's got these buttons coming down here, which normally with like a, an established brand, you would find that the buttons actually loop into something like a lace panel that will cover the zip. Ah! But there's just buttons lining up along the side of the zip. So that's a little bit sad. Okay, we've got quite a big skirt. It's got a very shiny layer underneath in there. Can you see how shiny that layer is on the inside? I, do you call it um, plastic organza? No, no. <laughs> I don't know. There's a very shiny layer on the inside, which kind of cheapens it. I, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit cheap. 
The sleeves, I don't have high hopes for these because the lace all down the sleeves just looks like it's just been like put on anywhere. That doesn't look like there's any particular rhyme or reason to it. It looks a little bit awkward, the placement. I do like that it's got this V neckline. I think that that's really pretty. The lace around here is finished properly, not like that one where it was all sort of zigzaggy and not even. But uh, maybe with alterations, it could end up being good. But until I try it on, I'm not particularly impressed. I would say this one is, I want to say a $250 dress. That one is actually 208 US dollars and 303 Australian dollars. Ooh, how much was that one? 203 US dollars, 296. So they're almost exactly the same price. Oh, wow. Look, if that one had been finished around the edges like this one has been, that would be worth a lot more in my books. But this, yeah, just by looking at it, I don't have the highest hopes for when I try this one on. Now this is, this looks like quite a cute cut. I'm very interested to see what this one looks like. These are little teeny tiny sleeves. It's got an open back where it clips up at the top and then leaves a big sort of circle free to show your back. Looks like it should lace up, but uh, I don't see any lace with it. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. On the inside, there's a big bow and a ribbon. Hmm, this one, kind of heavy. It doesn't have that weird shiny inside like that one had, so it doesn't look as cheap as that one. This is a little bit off-white compared to that one that was a really, really stark white. This is very shiny with the sequins, but also I almost feel like there's not quite enough sequins for it to look Good. It looks like kind of a half-assed attempt at sequins. They just, they look like they're placed really randomly and I feel like if they'd been more, it would look more deliberate. But I'm liking that it's got this lace panel across the top here. Ah! It's got cups built in. How's the skirt situation? It's got lace around the bottom of the skirt, which is good because it's pretty, but it's also bad because if you go to make alterations, if you need the height adjusted, they have to unpick all of that lace, then they've got to trim it, and then they've got to sew the lace back on, which can be very expensive and time consuming. So, you know, if you're planning on getting a dress and altering it, you're up for an additional charge. There could be a couple of hundred dollars. Looking at this one, feels better than that one. Doesn't feel as good as that one. Feels better than that one. I'm going to say 200. 200? Yep. That one is 161 US dollars and 235 Australian dollars. So yeah, it's guess... a little cheaper than what you thought. Yeah, I, I guess it's okay. Until I put it on though, I won't know, but just by holding it up and looking at it, I would probably give this a pass if I was in a store and saw it on the hanger, but uh, it is it is still pretty cheap, so it might work out for some people. What have we got here? Ooh, that's a heavy one. Oh, I like this. Oh, I think this is my favorite so far. This is promising to me. I really like the length of the sleeves. The placement of the lace looks a little bit more deliberate than the placement of the lace on those sleeves. This looks like it cinches in nicely at the waist and also it doesn't look boxy. If you saw my Yes Style wedding dress video, you might remember that some of them, I felt like the waistline was like a box and then it went straight across like that and it was almost creating a square here. But this one looks like it flows really nicely. This has a very big base to it with heaps and heaps of lace all over the base. That's a lot of lace there. I like that it's not stark white, but it's not like too creamy that it looks aged. I have very high hopes for this, and by looking at this, I would say this is probably a $400 dress, just by feeling it. That one is 219 US dollars and 319 Australian dollars. Not bad, okay, not bad. I'm impressed by that price. Okay, so the last one on this side. This looks really nice. Wow, this looks incredible. Oh, this is the biggest. Oh my god. Okay, this has to be the most expensive. Whoa, I'm, this is very, very similar to my own wedding dress. It's got this really, really deep V coming all the way down here with lace. That's just what my one had, but mine had sleeves. This one's obviously off the shoulder, but I do still love off the shoulder dresses. If I'd had a summer wedding, this is the type of style that I would have gone for. There's some beautiful lace detail all the way down here, coming all the way down the dress. I'm buried in a, in a pile of skirts at the moment, so I can't actually see the bottom of it, but when I try it on, I'll tell you guys what I think. But it's got a lace up back, it's finished really nicely. All of, all of this detail on the bodice, it's very soft and it looks like it's sewn on very nicely. The only issue is that some of the lace just around here looks a little bit messy. Not gonna lie, it does look a little bit messy. But I think overall, just by looking at it, I have very, very high hopes for this. I think this is gonna be a huge dress. I reckon this is a $600 dress. I think $600. Like if I saw this in a store and this was $600, I'd be like, Oh my god, yes! <laughs> that dress is $196 US dollars 
$286. Okay, what's the catch? I'm gonna put this on and like the bodice is gonna fall away from the skirt, right? Something's gonna go terribly wrong. It's actually got razor blades inside it. <laughs> I'm shaken to my core. Um, ow. How do I get this off? The bed or the dress? Both. <laughs> It looks okay. so structured, like it just looks like it just would sit up by itself, right? Yeah, now. yeah. Wow, okay. I'm obsessed with that dress. I think that's going to be incredible. The last one over on this side. Okay, so this one looks very minimal. This is similar to the cut of the first dress I tried in my Yes Style video. It's got this clean silhouette going all the way down. It's got a V-neck, it's got these straps. They are nowhere near as thick as the straps on that Yes Style dress that I tried. Oh, it's got the fake, it's got the button situation again with buttons going down that don't actually do anything. They're just decorative buttons. It's got a zip all the way down here. No lace up required, which does save you time. Hmm, looking at this in the mirror, holding it up like that. It feels, to me, until I see it on, I'm not gonna know exactly. But, let's have a look at the skirt. Oh yeah, it's got lace coming all the way down. The sleeves feel very cheap and I would almost be concerned that if this dress was any heavier, this would split. I don't think that this is strong enough or reinforced enough to hold the weight of the dress. Uh, this one feels maybe like a $180 dress, I would say. $180? Yeah. You wanna lock that in? I'm gonna lock it in, Eddie. That one is $231 US dollars and $337 Australian dollars. Is that the most expensive? That's the most expensive one. No. I actually like ordered the dresses from price. So the one at the front here is the cheapest and the one closest to you is the most expensive and they're all Oh, wait, order. wait. So you mean it goes cheapest, Cheap. two, three, four. Then the front. Five, six, seven. What? Correct. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you just put them on here randomly. <laughs> nah. Isn't that crazy though? Oh my goodness okay wow I've, I've had a fair bit to think about just now so look let's start getting into these dresses and i will give you guys my opinions once they're on because i think that they're going to look very very different now as i did with my guest style video i'm going to wear a veil and i'm going to hold a bouquet just to give you guys the full idea of what it looks like and then also we're going to make a follow-up video later eventually where I'm going out with a wedding photographer and we're going to take professional images of me wearing these so that way you get an idea of how they photograph because a lot of the times your your images that you take on the day are going to be the ones that are on your wall and staying with you for the rest of your life and you want it to look good in photos so that's what we need to see we need to see if it looks good in photos uh, Artie is currently trying to rip a ring off my finger so let me put you away and let me get changed into the dresses. So now that we know the price of all these dresses, uh, I definitely have high hopes for the cheapest dress. I think this one over here is going to be absolutely amazing. And I think that one at the back over there is going to be incredible too. Not so sure about these on the expensive side. I don't have the highest hopes. So with that, let's jump into it. Dress number one. I really like it, I do. It's very, very similar to a dress that a very good friend of mine wore to her wedding. I know her dress cost her $4,000. <laughs> I'm not gonna say for certain, but from a distance, this looks basically the same as her dress and you would never know that this was a hundred and something and hers was four. You, you would never know the difference from a distance. On her wedding day, I never got to go up to her and feel her wedding dress or anything like that. So I don't know in terms of feeling it, whether hers felt the same as this or not. Surely hers would have felt better for the amount of money that she paid. But cut and style and just overall look, this is really similar to a very expensive dress that I've seen before. I'm so impressed right off the bat with this one. This is nicer than the Yes Style dresses that I tried. All four of the Yes Style dresses I liked some of them but I think this beats all of them right off the bat the only issue is that I'm busting right out of it because I gave my measurements before Christmas and now I'm not the same as I was before Christmas so if this was fitting me properly I think I would be very very comfortable but at the moment I'm feeling very self-conscious because there's a lot of like bits kind of hanging out here just need to kind of tuck them in and hunch a little bit so that you don't really see but I'm gonna show you something if I lift up my arm, I'm getting that. And yes, girl, you're human. <laughs> That's true, human. But I don't think I'd be very comfortable noticing that in my wedding photos. So fun fact, as a wedding photographer, I have taken photos at weddings where the bride has said to me afterwards, can you go through my 1000 images and Photoshop this out? And I've done that. Um, it's pretty easy in Photoshop. It's just like a liquify tool and you just kind of, <laughs> you just get rid of it like that. But 
you know what? You'll save your photographer a lot of hassle if you don't have something like that going on, if you wanted it to be edited. So I think with these sort of dresses, if you don't base it on the exact size that you are when you order it, but maybe base your measurements that you give the give AliExpress base them as a little bit bigger so that way closer to your wedding like a month out or two months out I mean I had mine altered two weeks before my wedding that's how close that it came and that way it was basically exactly to my measurements as I was before the wedding get in a little tiny bit bigger so just before the wedding when you're getting your alterations made you can have it cinched in because for me you know imagine if this was my wedding and I had ordered this three months ago and then it turned up and my weight had changed and then I couldn't get into it I'd be so unhappy so anyway there's just that to consider but when I give you guys the full length shots I'm going to be trying these dresses on with my wedding shoes which were chunky sneakers Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I wore chunky pink buffalo sneakers on my wedding day. No shame, I was so comfortable. Uh, I did that because we had an outside ceremony. There was a lot of dirt and sticks and leaves and mud and I was like, I'm not wearing stilettos or high heels of any sort. They were so comfortable, no one knew. I was showing people, I was going around and lifting up my dress and showing them and being like, look, it's a secret. But because my dress was so long and it just touched the floor, no one knew I was wearing chunky sneakers. And then I posted a picture on Instagram where I was sitting down on the ground with Dan and Sam and I sort of, I had my foot showing. And that's the only wedding photo out of the thousands of pictures that we had taken. It's the only one where you could see my shoe. If you're wearing a really big skirt, you can wear sneakers if you want to. Wear whatever you want. Don't let people judge you. People thought it was so cool on my wedding day. Whenever I showed them, they were like, that's the coolest thing ever. I mean, they're, they're sparkly and they're pink and they're super comfortable, so why not? So I need your help, guys. As you watch this video, I want you to tell me which dresses you want me to take out and photograph as like the trial wedding photos. I'm gonna get my hair done and I'll get my makeup done. We'll wear four dresses. We'll go out to like Hyde Park or something in the city or to like some beautiful hotel or something like that and we'll take pictures as though they're wedding photos. And you can see how these dresses look on camera because I think some of them I mean, even this, I think that this would photograph very, very nicely. I think even on camera here, it looks really, really pretty. I love this belt situation. It's a very cute little bust. And I think the bodice, it sits at a really good height. It's not an awkward, sometimes if the bodice cuts off here and then it flares out, you can really look very awkward with your torso. But I think that this one cuts off at a really nice height. You really like the neckline. The belt is my favorite part. The skirt is absolutely beautiful. It's also very, very soft. The one thing I've noticed, it has this really weird layer that is, I don't even know. I don't think it's supposed to be on the final dress. I have a feeling, cause this is almost like, like fish net. It's this plastic net. And I have a feeling that they leave that on there because it's very stiff. I think they leave it to help with the shape of the hemline. And I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to take this to a seamstress and have that cut off. Can you see this? It's, it's not very big. It's just on the end there. It's literally like plastic mesh. I thought it was to weigh down the hemline. Do you reckon? So it doesn't float about. Do you think? Oh, know. maybe. Usually dresses aren't in their final form when you receive them. They're normally meant to be altered in some way. That's the only thing that I can think of as to why they would have put that there. That is letting the dress down. But aside from that, I think that this is a really, really pretty dress. I don't think I would have worn it on my wedding day because I was going for something that was more inspired by nature with like leaves and embroidery and lace and all that sort of thing. But this is still a really, really pretty dress. And I'm sure that if someone got this, I think that they would be really, really happy with it. Considering it is our cheapest dress, it's a very good place to start. I'm very, very happy. What would you rate it? Oh, what would I rate it? Oh, um, I was gonna say eight out of 10, but that strange hem situation, maybe a seven out of 10? Seven or eight out of 10? Yeah. What about you? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, hey, there you go. <laughs> What's happening? Help. Where are oh you? Oh my God. Oh, there's too many layers. You were like literally lost in a pile oh, of tulle. I feel like I'm birthing myself. <laughs> Get out. Um, can you, is there a zip here? <laughs> okay guys, small issue. So this dress, like I was saying, I did put on some weight over Christmas. I gave them my measurements and I think I've probably put on like at least two inches since then. I, I know I put on eight kilos. It's, it's not zipping up. So I'm very sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. That was my mother-in-law's fault for cooking such delicious turkey and ham and those potatoes cooked in duck fat. So <laughs> anyway, hopefully from the front, you can get an idea of what it looks like. So this belt, 
came with it, which is really nice. So this obviously goes on here and then does up at the back. I don't know if it even needs it because it's got all this lace that sort of comes all the way down. So it may not even need the belt, but because it came with it, let's try it with the belt. This will be the first one that I've tried with the belt so far out of, we've tried, this is the fourth now and the first with a belt. So I'm interested to see. How... I'm obsessed with that neckline. Like oh, the... the neckline, <gasps> yeah, it's really pretty. Oh my God, it, and you can't see the net at all. Yeah, you it can't see the net. Floating. Yeah, that's what I really like. I love when you can't see the mesh. There is mesh that comes right up to here. I said in my Yes Style video that my own wedding dress had the same thing and it was really itchy. So the seamstress had to snip the edges and clean it up so it wasn't so itchy. This isn't itchy at all. I kind of feel like this is lopsided though, looking looking at me straight on. I think this one is sitting higher than this one. Well, it's supposed to stop halfway, right? That's yeah, awesome. but I, so for me, see yeah. how this little bit of lace comes here? Yeah. And this, there's nothing there, but also this lace stops there, but this yeah. lace comes all the way up to here. Yeah, I think that's on purpose. Do you like reckon? Like that's a design thing, so it looks like it's floating. It doesn't want to look like straps. Because hmm. on the back it only goes across one side. It's like asymmetrical. Yeah. Oh, oh, it does too. Yeah. I really like the back. That back is so beautiful. I love that the lace is just floating like that. It's stunning. Man, I wish that this was <laughs> sipping up so that it would fit me so I could show you what it's supposed to look like. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's I've put on that much weight. So um, hopefully you do get an idea though of what this is meant to look like. If I just leave this arm down like that, you'll be able to see. When I do all my modeling shots in the hallway, we'll just pretend that there's nothing wrong on the right hand side. So like I said, maybe just for your own peace of mind, if you were gonna order one of these dresses, just tell them like slightly larger measurements. So that way you can always take it to a seamstress. I mean, if you're only paying 200 or $300 for your wedding dress, you could spend like $100 to alter it, to cinch it in if you get it a little bit too big and I think you'd be fine. So this one, this is coming in, I'm not gonna say a close second because I think the first dress I tried on is second. Maybe this is third. Personally, I'm really, really pedantic when it comes to things being symmetrical and I really hate that that stops there and that keeps going. I, I cannot see stand how, it. How strange is that? Because that's my favorite thing about the dress. Really? Yeah, the asymmetrical. Oh, nah, I don't like it. But uh, anyway, so the length of it, it's a little bit unusual because the hemline, you'll see the lace pattern doesn't touch the floor. The lace stops and then there's excess lace. So I'm not entirely sure if that's on purpose. See how here, usually that this would be the end of it. That would be the hemline like that. But it's got this excess lace hanging down. So I'm not sure if they've done that so that you can alter it yourself or what, but I just think it looks a little bit awkward when it touches the floor. I think it looks really awkward how it's sort of hovering and none of the layers match up. I can see a white layer underneath is longer than the tulle layer and they're all sort of different levels and it just looks a little bit awkward. So I feel like this one isn't entirely executed as well as it could have been, or at least not as well as the previous one, but still uh, for, what was this? This is like 200 something dollars, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's definitely a good starting point and you could get this and then you could work with it from there. So I'm not entirely sure if this dress is supposed to be on the shoulder or off the shoulder, I think off the shoulder, it definitely looks a bit better than it looks on the shoulder. And that could potentially account for why it's twisted. Maybe it's twisted so that when it falls like that, could have something to do with that, I'm not sure. Tell me down below what you think. Is it supposed to be on or off the shoulder? Anyway, so for the second cheapest dress, I actually don't hate it. Looking at it when I was holding it up, I wasn't that impressed. I didn't really like it that much. I don't particularly like this cut. I get very insecure about this area here. I've lost a lot of weight in the past and I'm still very insecure about it. And I know if I wore this on my wedding day, I would have felt really self-conscious because it clings so tightly. And if you have anything you're insecure about, it's not forgiving in the slightest. The other funny thing was that when Tiasha laced up that back for me, there was a huge amount of excess lace left over that we had to kind of like tuck in there. And it's all sitting just in this area here. And I, I literally have like a diaper made of excess ribbon. I mean, it's sitting kind of smoothly, but on some angles that you can see there's all this bumpiness. So you may have to trim the ribbon potentially. I do think that you would be relatively happy with this. I, I'm not mad at all, but like I said, it kind of feels like something you'd get at a prom dress store. I feel like if you went into a wedding dress store and tried this on and they were trying to charge, you know, thousand dollars or something for it, you'd be like, yeah, that's not really worth that just based on picking it up. Maybe in footage and in photos and stuff, you guys might think that it looks a little bit better than I think it does. So let me know down below. But at the moment, this one is, yeah, it's, it's not, 
taking first place from the first dress that I tried, but it's not bad, it's not terrible. I don't mind it. I found that it was quite easy to walk in, because obviously at the front it's not too long, but at the back I noticed that it kind of bunched up in a really strange way, and you definitely would need your bridesmaids or someone to keep adjusting it for you, especially in photos. It just didn't seem to be sitting right, it has a couple of different layers that don't seem to be meeting up properly. The pink layer doesn't want to merge with the mesh layer, they're sitting at different levels and it looks a little bit messy, so I think around the base that would definitely need a bit of work. You can definitely notice on the inside underneath here, you can see it pulling, so if it's ever so slightly tight on you, it's quite noticeable. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can see these sort of lines where the inner layer is like pulling across here. And also, it's so tight around my thighs that I'm walking like, like in a pencil skirt, it's very hard to move. So, might be good for coming down the aisle, maybe, if you're taking little steps. I can't bend any further than this. If you drop your bouquet or something, that I, I can't physically... That's as far as I can lean. I cannot lean any further. I'm gonna give this like a 5 out of 10. What do you say, Tiasha? I agree. And also, if it doesn't make you feel good, then boo. boo. But I actually think you're 100% spot on it. It's supposed to be off the shoulder, because now the seams match properly. Yeah. On the back, it's sitting right. Is it sitting right? Yeah, it's sitting perfect. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. It's it's meant to be off the shoulder. Okay, we've, we've fixed the problem. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, 5 out of 10. Okay, so as I mentioned to you guys when I looked at this on the hanger, I wasn't particularly impressed, and I'm still not. Looking at this top here, I'm just... I... <sighs> I don't know, it just doesn't look nice. You know how the other one, the mesh, you couldn't see it. So it looked like the lace was kind of floating on my skin. This mesh is very, very noticeable. Now what a seamstress can do is cut along here. See how it's sort of doubled over? A seamstress could possibly cut it, but I don't know if you'd want to risk it. So I don't really like the way that this looks, and I was saying that I thought that the sleeves looked a little bit random, just like they just got the embroidered patches and they're like, one here, one here, one here, one here, you know. It's like when you're slapping on sunscreen, <laughs> just like, just slap it all over the place like that and then rub it in. It doesn't look purposeful, and I really feel like, just look at this. If I hold my hands like this, imagine if I'm just modeling a little bit and I'm covering up that section there. How much nicer does that look without this weird lace? If I just cover it and we just picture, oh me, oh little old me, <laughs> there's no lace here to see. I love when it comes down like this, could have come a little bit lower for my liking, but it's still lovely. I just wonder if you went to a seamstress, if they would be able to remove this lace without jeopardizing the structural integrity. I don't think that they could because the sleeves are attached to that lace. So there would be no way. And the seam around the arm as well, it's like. Yeah, on the one that I loved, it has almost like a, like a peachy, nude colored lace, which blends in a lot easier. Aside from that, the skirt is nice. I do like how it sort of flares out, but again, this has the same problem where this here is creating like a little arrow, and then there's nothing else around it, so it looks a little bit random. I think if another one had been down like that, and another one had been maybe to there, you know, at a couple of different levels of embroidered panels, I think it, I think it would look a lot nicer. I just, I don't really like that. It's just like a little arrow, like, hey, wedding night, here. I do thoroughly love the lace all the way around the edges. This is the same that I had on my wedding dress, and I think it's really, really pretty. I like that it comes all the way to the base of the lace, which that other one, it stopped just shy of the bottom of it, which looked a bit strange, but this comes all the way to the end. If you need to tailor a dress like this and alter the length, a seamstress has to unpick all this embroidery along here. They've got to trim it, and then they've got to sew it back on. Time consuming and expensive, but it's still a beautiful effect, so I think that it's well worth it. I am going to rate this one maybe a 5 out of 10. I'm not so blown away with this funny line here, don't really like the funny sleeves. I don't want to go as low as a 4, because construction-wise, it actually feels like it's made quite well. I don't particularly love this super shiny fabric underneath, I think it cheapens it a little bit. And also, this sort of fabric creases so easily, and look, you can see those creases. So you definitely need to be steaming this in the lead up to the wedding and things like that. But, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not in the top four, I would say. I think, yeah, five out of ten. What do you think? Same. Same? Yeah. Okay. I don't love this one. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't I mean, I don't hate it, mm. but if it didn't have that, and if this... You can get a seamstress to add a bit more embroidery. Could be difficult to match the embroidery that you already have, but they can do it. They can do it. The back's pretty, but look how the, the other look one. how the buttons are kind of bunching up. See, they're making... they're doing this weird thing. 
I don't know why they're doing that, I don't know how to fix that, but I do like that the lace sort of climbs up the back a little bit onto the mesh. I think that's very pretty. And I think that the sparkles, there's a little bit of glitter too that's quite nice. See this? Yeah. It looks like a bra strap. It's not, but it looks like a bra strap. I wish it didn't have that. So this one, I see where they were going with it, but they're not quite there. Okay, so here we are. I'm not loving the top. I feel like this weird situation with the cups, they're too structured and they're ending up very angular and pointy and it's not looking flattering. It looks, look, it looks really lumpy and it's creating these strange lines over here. That is obviously something that if you take it to a seamstress, they can fix when you have it altered. Most people need to have their wedding dress altered in some way. It cost me a couple of hundred dollars to have my wedding dress altered, so maybe a seamstress could fix this for you, but just looking at it at the moment, I feel like it's a little bit awkward. When I was looking at it on the rack, I actually liked that this came across here, but now that I'm wearing it, I'm actually not so sold. I almost feel like it looks like an afterthought. It looks like this is supposed to be like a, sleeveless strapless one like this and this has just kind of been tacked on it doesn't look like it's meant to be together i think around here if this lace detail here just came down a little bit more onto the dress i reckon if the lace and the embroidery just sort of came down to about here i think that it would look a lot better this is too short this just feels too short and it makes my torso look shorter than what it is because of where it cinches in i feel like maybe with a belt like that it would look a little bit better. I'm not loving it the way that it is right now. I do really, really like the skirt. I think that the skirt is a really nice length and I like the embroidery at the bottom. That's definitely going to be a pain if anyone needs to alter this dress because you have to unpick the embroidery. But also because this embroidery here doesn't come down and there's no embroidery anywhere else, I think it looks a bit silly because it's like, it stops here and then there's just plain white and then there's just suddenly some around the base. It just as a whole doesn't seem to merge together very well. The back is pretty Pretty, but again, I don't know what I think about the lace paneling. It looks a little bit like angel wings, but it doesn't look like it matches. It doesn't look like it belongs. So this one, I'm only going to give this a four out of 10, I would say, or maybe even a three. Wow. What do you think? Oh, I, uh, I, ooh, I don't know if it's a three, but um, yeah, I don't like how the lace at the top is curling over. Like it's not sitting flat on your collarbone. Yeah, it's not. It's just wrinkling over. Oh yeah, true. I didn't yeah. even notice that in the mirror. It's like, oh not... yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's supposed to say flush, I think. Yeah, it should be lace. flush. I agree though. I think I would give it like a four or five out of 10. Not a win with this one. Are you okay? You can't breathe. I can't breathe. breathe. <laughs> I think I'm just getting lightheaded. Okay, Jesus. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Too much Christmas cake. I like the length of the sleeves. This is our second most expensive dress. I don't think it looks like the second most expensive dress. I do really, really love the bottom of it. The bottom of it has stunning lace detail all the way around and the lace actually climbs its way up from the bottom. I really like that. So you can actually see here, you can see here's the top of the lace and the lace started at the bottom and has come all the way up to this point, which I think is absolutely incredible. I love this lace detail at the base here. I think it's so beautiful. That is probably one of my favorite things about it. If this had a different top situation, so the thing for me is you can very, very clearly see there's a seam running across here, which creates a division. And I don't really like that. I prefer it if from here all the way down is like one solid, like my dress was, there was no seam at the waist. It was just one piece of fabric from the bust down like that. And it was very smooth. But this little detail across here where it's the seam, where the skirt is sewed onto the bodice, I don't like that. And I do kind of wish that these little tiny lacy embroidered panels here, I wish that they came down a little bit more. That's been my thing with basically all of them, except my favorite dress. But I think the way that the base is with the lace down there, that is just stunning. You can imagine though, if you went to a seamstress and needed to have the height of this altered, can you imagine this lace goes all the way around the base of the entire skirt, the whole thing, and it's all like solid pieces of embroidery. So if they had to unpick it, they would probably have to unpick it all the way up here as well, because this is all one solid piece. That's a huge amount of unpicking of lace and then sewing it back on again. That would probably be, I would say like a four or $500 alteration. So very quickly, the price of this dress goes from 300. This one is 319 Australian dollars. Yep. So you would probably end up paying maybe 600 or $700 for this dress. That's if you needed to get the height adjusted. And I'm taller than average. I'm like five foot nine. I think a lot of people are around the five foot six, five foot seven kind of mark. And there's no way that you could wear this dress without having it altered. 
But that being said, I'm pretty sure they asked me for my height. Or did they only ask me for my my bust and waist? I will have to double check. I'll put a little blurb on the bottom here and tell you. If I didn't tell them my height, it means that you would need to get the height adjusted. But if I did tell them the height, then they probably based this off my height and that's why it's okay. I feel like you have just because every single one's been the perfect They've length. They've been the, yeah. but when I tried them on in the store, they were all the perfect length on me too. Because oh, I'm just like the standard, standard height that they make the sample right. dresses. So I don't know, but I'll have the info down here for you on the screen. But anyway, this one, I am noticing it's got this same situation here with what looks like a bra strap, which does quite bother me. I, I really wish they didn't do that. That's saying to me, obviously the sleeve is a different piece to the top. My wedding dress, the lace on the top was part of the lace that went down to the sleeves, which that's obviously what you get when you pay you know, thousands of dollars for a dress. You expect that level of craftsmanship. I guess when you're only paying a couple of hundred, they do what they can. From here down is probably my favorite or second favorite. From here up, it's not quite there. I wouldn't have picked this. I do like the length of the sleeves. It's quite nice. Maybe if I put the belt. This is the belt from the previous dress. That disguises that weird seam and makes it look a little bit more deliberate. So don't forget guys, you can always put a belt with your wedding dresses. What do you think of that? Do you think that looks a bit better now? I think that you are the only one that would have a problem with this seam in the middle. <laughs> For me, like, I didn't even notice it till you brought it up. Like, it looked fine. I am very... Pedantic. But it does look beautiful with the belt, actually. It does yeah, look it really nice. it looks really, really nice with the belt. Mm. Don't forget, you can always put belts with your wedding dresses. You don't have to wear them the way that they come. So, anyway, with that, for the second most expensive dress, I think it is kind of worth it. I, it's only 320 Australian dollars. Like, a denim jacket from Lazy Oaf is like 200 and something, so... I think it's worth it. I think if someone bought this and they weren't as fussy as I am about little things like the hemline and stuff, I think they'd be very, very happy. I would give this one like a seven or an eight. Do you reckon? I think that most people, this is like a really pretty dress and most people would be so happy to have it. Well, if you guys can be bothered, go through and score them. You've heard what we've been scoring them. If you can be bothered, go through and score them too and tell us what you think. Because I mean, my score for this would be maybe a six out of 10. Tiasha has said a seven or an eight. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts down below. Okay, dress number three now. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror because I want to get my reaction on camera. So I said that I would have liked this as a wedding dress and let's see if I'm right. Wow. <sighs> I would have worn this. I would have worn this on my wedding day. Like, I'm not just saying that. This is literally, holy sh I don't believe it! This is incredible! I'm not gonna say I like it more than my wedding dress, because my wedding dress was my favorite thing in the world, but if I saw this in the shop on the day that I tried on my wedding dress, if I tried this on before I tried on the dress I chose, I wouldn't have ended up in that other dress because I would have picked this. I definitely, if I'd come out of the change room and stood in front of the mirror in the store, I would have been like, this is it, I don't need to look any further, this is the dress. And then I would never have ended up with the dress that I did end up with. <laughs> but uh, Wow, I get, I'm getting chills. Look at how snatched your waist looks. This is incredible. I know some people won't like the deep V. I personally, I really, really like it because even though you lose a bit of the modesty because yes, it is a plunging neckline, you do have the lace. I mean, I'm quite flat chested, so I don't have any, you know, that like it's not in your face, I would say. I think that this is absolutely incredible and this is making the most beautiful silhouette. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm like flat out speechless. Aww. This is a 10 out of 10. Like flat, 11 out of 10. This you is beautiful. Thank you. I can imagine this with sleeves as well. You know, like this style of sleeves. Like if this- You're just recreating your wedding dress. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See that? Can you, can you imagine? Maybe that would be too much actually. No, I think the way it is, it's perfect. I don't think I'd change anything. You know what I was saying about the dress before this one? How the lace kind of ended here. And I said, if the lace had extended down, it would look a lot nicer. This is that. This is exactly what I was talking about. See how this lace comes all the way down like that? On the second layer, look, the whole thing is covered in seat. Are you sure that this was not the most expensive one? Yes. Look, the whole thing, look at all the sequins. Isn't that incredible? So they're all on the second layer, and then the top layer is the one with the lace. So you get the sparkles shining through Oh my god! I mean, I'm not gonna cry because I've seen myself in a wedding dress and I've had that emotional moment. But I bet if anyone ordered this dress and they tried it on and they like this style, I think you'd just, you'd lose your mind. Because I'm an influencer and I'm making this video for them, 
I do wonder, have they sent me the most incredible dresses imaginable and have they made them really, really, really well? But if you were a customer paying, I wonder if they would make them the same. This is so good that it just makes no sense to me that this is a what 200 and something dollar dress i totally agree i reckon that I, I mean we can't say you can't say for sure i can't say this is blowing my mind i'm wow all of them like none of them have looked really cheap so far you know yeah okay anyway before i spend too much time raving about this wow look at the back oh my gosh ah this is incredible <laughs> no i almost feel like Sometimes when other people, I've seen other YouTubers making wedding dress videos, you know, from cheap places like AliExpress and Wish, and they've had such shocking, disastrous fails. And I do wonder, have they just purposefully picked the worst dresses they can pick because it's funny to watch? Like, I don't think that they're really trying to help people find a wedding dress. I think that they're just trying to get a laugh. I was really cautious with what I chose, you know, like with my Yes Style dress and with these, would this look nice? Would this fit many body shapes? Is this a popular style and all this sort of thing? And I feel like I've picked really well, especially with this one. I like don't even want to film the rest. I'm like, this is it guys. We can end the video here. We found the best dress ever. So tell me what you guys think down below if you like this as much as I do, but I'm just absolutely blown away. I can't believe it. Uh, and I'd love to hear if people have bought wedding dresses off AliExpress before yeah. and what they think. Yeah, if you've did bought one, if you've bought a wedding dress from AliExpress, leave a comment down below and tell us how you did and whether it was good, it was, was it what you imagined, was it poor quality, but this one, if I had seen this in the store where I bought my wedding dress from, I would have bought this and I probably would have paid $2,000 for it, $3,000 for it. I would have. Amazing! <laughs> okay guys, so we're on to the last dress now and the most expensive dress and my least favorite dress. I actually don't like this one anywhere near as much as I like the others, but that is probably because I don't like this style. There's obviously many, many people out there that like this style of dress. I'm just not one of them. It's just not me. I love when it cinches in at the waist and then it flares out. I just, I hate form fitted, you know, where it, it hugs your hips and then from the side it hugs your tummy and then it's hugging your butt. I just, I really, really don't like it. This one has an extreme open back. I don't mind the back. I think that the back can be quite a flattering look, but also out of all of them, this is the first one that I'm getting this extreme irritation. I reckon if you wore this for an entire day, you would be red all the way along here. It's really digging in and it's very, very scratchy. I just don't think that it, it's thought out very well. I feel like because it pulls, because it's tight, tension in certain areas means that it's creating this rough spot. And uh, I also, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Look, I'm already red. Look at that. Yeah, wow. I've been wearing this for a total of like three seconds and I'm red already. Obviously I like off the shoulder more. This isn't designed to be off the shoulder. But if you went for something like this, you could possibly have it altered to be off the shoulder like that. I don't really love it. I feel like if this was maybe narrower. I know what you mean. I feel like this, that the shoulder bit makes it look like matronly almost. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. You know how I had a pink one at the start that was a similar kind of cut? This feels like it's worth the same amount as that, but this is the most expensive. This is like 350 or whatever it is, the most expensive dress of the day. And yeah, the least favorite. This one has the same thing where it's got the embroidery all the way to the very edge of the hemline. So again, difficult to alter, but not impossible. It's got a couple of layers to it. The layers are all sort of different lengths. I almost feel as though, see how that second layer, the second layer is a lot longer than the first layer. And then the third layer is shorter than the second. So some people might like that, but I, I definitely don't. That definitely would have annoyed me. I feel like the outermost layer should be the longest. But anyway, I, I think it creates a nice silhouette if you like this style and your budget is under $500. I don't think you'd be unhappy, but I feel like it needs a bit of alteration. I would definitely have the cups removed. The cups are like, it's not making a knocking sound, but they're, they're like rock solid and they're very, not uncomfortable, but they're, they're, I think they need to be removed. It's got this very extreme boning that just doesn't look right. It's also making it sort of sag in some spots and stick out further in others, and it just, it's not flattering. Yeah, I don't know. It I really, I- It makes you, your body look amazing though. It's do you very, think? You know the way that you didn't like the pink one, like crumpling at the front? Yeah. This one is like smooth and you look so good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I would only give this like a four out of 10 because I don't like the style. Yeah. I guess quality, I would probably give it maybe like a six out of 10. It's not too bad, but God, it's really itchy at the back. So that probably knocks it down a peg to a five out of 10. <laughs> You're being so harsh on these guys. <laughs> Am I being too harsh, guys? Look, I'm just being a nasty nork, so maybe you should add 
two, two points to everything that I've said so far. But yeah, those are my scores. That's my scores for the day. So my favorite is absolutely, I mean, you know my favorite. I don't know what number it was, but you know, you know what it was. This is my least favorite next to the pink one, I guess. I don't know, tell me down below what your favorites were. This one is, it's definitely, look, actually look at that. That pose is quite nice. If I pull that pose, it's making like, it's got a nice hip shape here and then it sort of sucks in here and then it flares out. Hmm, if I was taking my wedding photos, I would want to pose like, yes, you're doing great, sweetie. This is my like second favorite, I think. <laughs> Despite the sleep. We've like had total opposites today, Total huh? opposites. I can't wait to see your wedding dress one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to my friends getting married because I was so secretive about my wedding dress. I went just with my mother-in-law and then with my own mom and dad. No one saw it until the day. Obviously it's all personal preference. And if you take a group of people with you to try on wedding dresses, don't let them sway you. If you fall in love with something and like three of the people that are there looking at it with you, if they hate it, if you love it, as long as it feels right for you, do what makes you feel happy. At the end of the day, you wanna be happy on your wedding day. If someone says to you, no, this kind of style will be better, but you don't feel good in that, that's why you wouldn't catch me wearing a dress like this on my wedding day. But uh, anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see a Wish wedding dress haul, give me extra thumbs up. Don't click it twice because then it'll unclick the thumbs up button. So click it three times if you want to see a Wish wedding dress video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. You can find me on Instagram. My Instagram is pretty pastel, please. I did mention in my Yes Style wedding dress video that I'm gonna try and sell these for charity or maybe just donate them flat out. I'm not entirely sure. I was thinking of hiring a market stall at Glebe Markets where people can come and they can buy, buy these for like 50 bucks or something and then I can give the money to charity. But tell me what you think down below. What do you think I should do with them? I'm obviously married now and have no use for them. I would post them, but posting something this big is so expensive and I can't imagine maybe someone might wanna spend 50 bucks receiving a wedding dress in the post. I don't know, tell me down below. Something I do have to point out is I found this on the floor. This is a bow and I have no idea what dress it belongs to. I think it may have belonged to the second last one, but I'm not sure. I came back after wearing one of the dresses and I was like, oh, what's that down there? And then I realized I think it was the second last one. But to be fair, I wouldn't have even known where to put it. No, like, I, I don't I feel seem to be missing it, anything. It's probably, it's probably meant to sit, you know, in like that sort of area. It's obviously not for this dress. It was probably for one of those big puffy ones. Mm. But I did, I did miss out on this one. So I'm sorry. But anyway, thank you to AliExpress for sending me these dresses. They're, they're very lovely. I'm actually really impressed with some of them. I would highly recommend the ones that I liked. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!